hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel fine nice here so on today's video i'll be showing you how we spend our huduma day with the family so actually this video was supposed to be what we eat in a day but uh yes lights had uh, different plans for us there were no lights the whole day you guys so we had to do something and uh so hubby decided to take us out on a family day so i hope you stay tuned i've prepared breakfast i had already started preparing breakfast so that will be the first video and then we head on out stay tuned and uh yes enjoy the video After putting the spices, you remember to put the spice that came with the noodles. Uh, they go a long way, so don't forget to put that so that you can cook together with the other spices. So after the tomatoes have cooked uh, well and you've already added the tomato paste, I'll now put on the uh, green bell papers because I don't want them to overcook. I want them still to be visible after the whole meal is done. So that's why I put them after the tomatoes are cooked. So mix it up and then you will add water. So I used here hot water. I put uh, two cups, two cups of hot water. So and then you'll wait for it to come to a boil. So this one is optional. You can add black paper just to bring, to bring that taste. I don't to put too much because of the kids then leave it for a few minutes two to three minutes and then it will boil
and now you can add the noodles so i used uh, three packs of uh, noodles okay, so mix it up well then you'll leave it again for another like uh, five minutes to cook be sure to be stirring so it doesn't um, stick to the pot or at least to make sure it doesn't overcook and when i was just busy minding my business and cooking the lights went off <laughs> but uh, anyway we proceeded to cook so here you add uh, dania then mix it up so our food is almost ready i can see it has already cooked well i hope the videos are visible i tried to to put on the ring light but it was almost uh, uh, going off also i had not charged the ring light so it's kind of dark still but hey we can stop <laughs> so by this time my baby Haley was already woken up so i had to prepare some chocolate for her and then i'll proceed with the other uh cooking so the bread so for this one i'll be using uh two pieces of nyama bite the nyama bite i told you it's very cheap it's like 80 shillings one nyama bite and one can be enough if you're not many if you are like three or four you can use two nyama bites so you cut it like so and then i'll use uh, three eggs put some salt and then uh, you beat it up like this so moving on to the pan put some oil and then i'll just pour in uh, the nyama bites but before that i had to serve Haley. she loves indomie you guys so that's what i was doing i had forgotten to cut it to cut the noodles into small pieces so i'll do it uh, in that plate just take a spoon and then cut it for her and there is the noodles so add the nyama bites in the pan so you just want it to be crunchy usually the nyama bite is already like cooked it's not like raw raw so we just want it to be a little bit crunchy uh, remember to to turn them over so that they can cook both sides and then in another, another pan put some oil and then we'll put our egg our beaten egg so there is the egg don't put too much just a little bit for it to form a chapo <laughs> like so and then here's the trick you put one side of the bread and then turn it over so that you can have some bit of uh, egg then you turn it over and then you leave it to cook like that you must uh, reduce the heat so that the egg doesn't uh, doesn't burn once it has um, it has uh, had some little bit of heat turn it over like so you need to be careful when doing so so that it doesn't spoil or uh, break and then the flaps you put them back in so this will be the inside you see like so cook it again if you see it has not yet cooked well you can flip it back and then cook it some more like so then turn it over so this side will be the inside where you put the 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 egg so after cooking for some few minutes few seconds actually you add your nyama bites and you can see how crunchy and how well cooked they were and then on the other side you put the cheese and then lap it back so there you have it it's not so difficult it's actually um very easy this was my first time doing it and it was not hard guys so once it is well cooked put it aside then you go to the next uh, 
the next uh, egg make sure you have some oil then you put the egg actually used four eggs but for this video I used three after cooking this I actually cooked another one so yes I had forgotten to turn over the other bread so yes I turned it. Uh, it it's good it did not spoil or break so cookie like so turn it over as I told you be careful make sure it cooks well this will be the inside uh, take the flaps and then put them back in then you add your nyama bites if you have ham you can also use ham instead of the nyama bites it's just because i don't like ham so i prefer nyama bites but you can use ham flap it over then cook it to the way you like it if you love it more crunchy you can leave it for some time so that's it so in the same same pan after cooking the bread i'll go ahead and put the the canned beans the beans that were in the can i uh, remember they've already been soaked in uh, tomato paste or is it sauce so for me it's just to warm it up remember my microwave is off you don't have lights so but also this is a good way where you can add any other thing you want to add so for me i usually add dania or coriander to make it more tastier just cook it for like two minutes and then that's it our breakfast is ready remember the indomie usually um, absorbs the water so for all that soup it just disappeared it was back to being dry and you know me i love some soup but it's okay this one will do it was not too dry so let me cut it up you see the inside and uh, there you have it there is our bread and I must say you guys this bread was so so yummy the combination of uh, the eggs the nyama bites and also the cheese the cheese that was that was inside it was so yummy so put some beans there and uh, there is our noodles it looks so yummy it was so yummy you guys and uh, this was on a heavy side of heavy breakfast it was so heavy you guys my hubby was like is this lunch i'm so full <laughs> and uh, it's because the reason why i cooked this meal specifically it's because the night before we skipped supper with him so we just took tea and then decided to sleep because we had taken uh, chips at around 4 p.m so he was so hungry i wanted something heavy for him in the morning and also for myself i was also so hungry so there is our tea and that's our heavy breakfast you can actually eat just a half a bread just a piece of that bread and you'll be okay when combining with these other things the beans and the noodles it will be enough So I'm using the word noodles because when I use the word indomie, some people might not understand what I'm saying, but uh, noodles is the word and then indomie is the brand. So it's just indomie in short, noodles, <laughs> same, same thing. And uh, here is my official tester. He usually starts tasting the food even before me tell me how it is and you guys he was eating so fast a point i was telling him how is it you're just finishing up without telling me how it is 
by the time we were done with this breakfast hey you guys it was so heavy and so fulfilling if you want something that uh, is going to last for like a day uh, up to around four or five eat heavy breakfast you'll be okay for the day so I joined him for oh, Haley was taking uh, nodules and Ivana was still asleep by this time so that's why they are not here yes and uh, as I told you guys because the lights went off we could not stay in the house the whole day just staring at each other so hubby told us to prepare ourselves and uh, go outside to just uh, have some little bit of fun so this is us already prepared ready to go the lights were very disappointing that day they were coming on and off on and off even the time by the time we were going back home they were not yet back they were just on and off on and off i don't know if there's anyone else who has experienced this and this was on a holiday huduma day you guys so it was so boring to be at home we had just to go out and even Haley before she uh, resumes school because she's opening uh, next week in just a few days we decided to take her to play so that uh, once to school starts she'll be ready and these were the snacks I had bought for the car so for the first time Haley usually sits there with the dad for a few minutes before I join him and uh, also just to make sure that uh, Ivana is okay where she's seated and uh, to make sure the lighting is okay the sun is not is not too much for her and then after a few minutes I'll go back and join hubby so like so and we also took our house manager with us she's uh, just there she's called Bridget and she's doing a really good job so far so we were going to Kitengela those of you who, do, who don't know it's along Mombasa road and the place is called Galaxy Resort I've gone there several times so so many times there and it's always fun I love the experience there the fun and the fact that it's spacious and you guys by the time we were in Kitengela I don't know what happened it was raining there but when we were at home it was not raining it was just clear and sunny so we are already here this is the place and I think because it was on a holiday there were so many other people there but most of the time when you go here they actually know no no there there are no people there it's usually like two or three people but uh, this time around there were so many as you can see the, the the cars are packed there are so many so but it's okay because it's a very big place and guess what you guys this is just one of the side this is just one side there's another whole other side we did not even get to explore where they have a swimming pool they have a hotel a lounge where you can just sit so we decided to go on the side where they have a playground because uh, we were mainly focus focusing on the kids so that's why we decided to stay on this side next time when we come we'll just come with hubby and stay on the other side so that we can show you guys how it is and uh, because it was already cold uh, we just had to put on our sweaters especially for the kids
searching for a longer day. People feeling like the light has just come. We must never stop the way. Birds chirping, I hear my name. Grass fields are alive. Heli couldn't wait to start jumping around on this bouncing castle. She's been uh, really talking about the bouncing castle for like a whole two days. So she really enjoyed herself. I'm happy. She was happy. For Ivana, she was kind of not ready to explore. But after some time, she enjoyed herself as well. As you can see, these are the things that are available there for the kids there was also a small train at least this one ivana liked from the instant she was excited about it and i'm glad she enjoyed herself and they are very affordable you guys very affordable so for like every item you use here it was like 200 shillings and i i think that was uh, worth it so something it is something you can come and do if you have a thousand shillings your kids will enjoy it themselves to the maximum Apart from the train, the other thing that Ivana enjoyed herself with is this slide. She really, really loved this slide. And uh, it was so much fun to her. She was not uh, ready to go to any other activity. So I'm glad she enjoyed herself as well. And to the main business that brought Hailey here, the bouncing castle, so she couldn't wait. So as soon as the train stopped, she went direct to the bouncing castle. And she's not a shy girl. She usually made friends out of this. So I'm glad she enjoyed herself. And uh, for the first time, she did not know how to climb this thing. But after a few minutes, we found her on top there. She was climbing up until half apart from that she also enjoyed the trampoline Ivana could not do any of these things hey she really refused the only thing she she could is the train and running around with the with dad and also a little bit of a uh, swing I'm hoping with time she'll be able to enjoy and loosen up because um, I remember Haley was like this when she was younger. So I'm hoping with time Ivana will be able to, to like the bouncing castle as well and uh, be ready to explore with her sister. She could not let her dad do anything. <laughs> she was following him around everywhere and anywhere. She's a daddy's girl, Kabisa. She loves her dad so much. And because uh, dad is, uh, usually knows how to calm her down, I let them just uh, bond and uh, do their thing. And uh, yes, I'm glad Kim enjoys dealing with her. As I deal with Haley. 
especially when we are outside in the house yes i can deal with her a lot but outside the dad takes over so i'm glad uh, he helps out with that when we are outdoors So the food uh, there was really nice. I can say they have a uh, uh, nice food, and uh, yes, I can recommend this a lot. So, unfortunately, by the time we were done with everything, this uh, we actually went home at around 7 p.m. because we arrived there at four, and by that time the phones were already off, so we could not uh, record any further. But uh, yes, we enjoyed ourselves and I hope you stay tuned till the end. And uh, yes, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And also follow us on uh, social media. I'll put down all the links. And uh, also for those asking about Jumia, the Jumia offers are still running. You can use my code JUMH to find for the offers of October remember it only uh, applies on the app so but in case you have any questions please feel free to ask me and uh, we had also taken some professional pics we found some people who are doing professional pictures there but unfortunately by the time i was editing this they had not sent the pics so maybe you'll see them on my social media pages so with that guys i love you so much and i'll see you in my next video bye